episode 3 of Rookie Designer Video Tips. My name is Jake Van Ness. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to work with the shape tools in Illustrator. So let's get started. We'll start with a new document by going to File New, where you can use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl N on a PC or Command N on a Mac. You'll get the new document window where you can change the size, the name of it, but today I'm just going to leave it as the default. I also want to change the fill color so that it's easier for you to see the shape. I'm going to change it to black. So the tools that I'm talking about are actually over here underneath the rectangle tool. There's several different shapes. Rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse, polygon, star, and flare. Let's use the tear off function so these are easier to find. It gives you a palette with the tools in line. I'm going to use the first five today. I'll leave the flare tool for another episode. So the first one we want to work with is the rectangle tool. It does pretty much what it's called. It makes a rectangle. But there's a cool little shortcut to make a square. If you hold down your shift key and you start to draw your rectangle, it actually makes a square with four equal sides. So there you go. Another thing that happens is if you click you actually get this little pop-up window where you can set the exact size of the width and height you want that rectangle to be. So if I wanted a 200 point by 300 point, you can actually set that exact size with this area. And there you go. So that's the gist of the rectangle tool. Let's move on to the rounded rectangle tool. And the reason it's called the rounded rectangle tool is because the corners are actually rounded rather than points you can control how much these are curved by using your arrow keys while you're drawing the rectangle. If you go up, it increases the curvature. If you go down, it decreases the curvature. So as you can see, the arrows will actually change the curvature. Again, if you click anywhere on the screen, you'll get this little pop-up window where you can control your width, height, and also your corner radius because we're using the rounded rectangle. So again, I'm going to do a 200 by 300. And right now it's got an 87 point radius, but say I want that smaller, so I'll make it a 40 point. So there you go. You have a 200 by 300 with a 40 point radius or corner. The next tool is the ellipse tool. This is so that you can make ovals, circles, stuff like that. Just like the rectangle tool, if you hold down the shift key, it will make a perfect circle. And again, if you click, you can actually set the width and the height of the circle. So again, if I want a 200 by 300, this will actually make an oval. The next tool we're going to talk about is the polygon tool. Right now my polygon has a lot of sides, but say I want to decrease the number of sides it has. You can use your down arrow and that actually decreases the number of sides your polygon has. The up arrow increases it. By clicking, you'll get this polygon window and it will ask you what you want the radius to be, which is basically how big it is. So let's make this a 300 point polygon but say I only want five sides on this one. You hit OK. And there you go. You have a five-sided 300 radius polygon. The star tool works sort of the same way as the polygon tool. Right now my star only has three points, which is actually a triangle. But again, I can increase the number of points by hitting the up arrow or decrease the number of points by hitting the down arrow. You can also control how long the points are by holding down your control key while you're drawing. And as you can see, it changes the star slightly. And you can increase and decrease how long those points are. It's, a, it's control on PC and command on Mac. So there you go. Just like the other tools, if you click, you get an option window. 
this is asking what you want the two radiuses to be which is the outside is for the stars points and then the inside which is actually radius one is for the inside points and then you can control how many star points you have so say I want to start with 12 points where the inside is 150 point but the outside is 450 points as you can see we get a pretty big star but it has very long points because the inside radius is much smaller than the outside radius by almost 300 points so there you have it that's the first five tools five shape tools the rectangle tool the rounded rectangle tool the ellipse tool the polygon tool and the star tool like I said earlier I'll cover the flare tool in another episode now that I've covered the shape tools in Illustrator I thought I'd reach out to you guys and see if there's anything you'd like to see a video tip on if there is please let me know by contacting me at jake at rookiedesigner.com don't forget to find us on Twitter at Rookie Designer and also on Facebook under Rookie Designer. Thanks for joining me and see you next time.